part of my reason for standing up here today is to inspire you all to realize that your voices matter. Even if you're not crazy involved on the farm every day, collectively and collaboratively, we can move mountains within agriculture. And so the story tonight about advocating for agriculture is really how do we better communicate what it is we do on our farms every day and really kind of bridge the gap between consumers and farmers. Can your voice make a difference? Does your voice matter? If you advocate for agriculture, can you make a difference? And I've learned very quickly that yes, you can. We've got to think about like, telling the real story of agriculture and, and helping kind of debunk these myths because so many people are so far removed to where their food comes from that it's up to us to really kind of tell that story and get people excited about it because there's never been a better time for people to learn about where their food comes from. Well, what do you mean organic uses pesticides? What do you mean there's no such thing as added hormones in poultry? All meat is antibiotic free, GMOs aren't bad. At what point? Are we watering down the food labels to the point where people aren't going to trust anything anymore? Have that connection that you're a person first who cares about that. You can help people laugh, cry, find that common ground, those shared values. Your mom, their mom, right? Really just be yourself. If you're not talking about what you're doing on the farm every day, who will? It's up to us to be that amazingly strong voice of agriculture. Telling that story collectively, we can move mountains and communicate the story of agriculture to the general public. We all have our challenges. There's a lot of things that we can't control. However, there is one thing that is an amazing story to tell that we can control. We can control the perception. To those of you who work in acres, not hours, we thank you. Thank you very much.